afternoon. How is everyone today? Good. Uh, my name is Megan Asarain. I am joined today by Dikla Ben Yehuda, who Hi. joins us all the way from Israel. She is on the engineering team for Power BI Embedded, and I am on the product marketing team for Power BI Embedded. So today we are talking about our workspace collections retirement. So this session is really dedicated to those of you who are currently using workspace collections and have not yet migrated over to Power BI Embedded. So June 30th is the date that we are marching toward. If you have not yet completed your migration by June 30th and you have not signed an EA as of last year, your data visualizations will no longer work in your application. So today we're going to talk about the realities, uh, sort of busting the myths that you may have heard about over the last year to make sure that everyone is on the same page. And then Deekla is going to take you through some of the latest and greatest things that we've launched in the service so you understand what you're migrating to. So if you did not sign an enterprise agreement prior to June 2017, then on June 30th, 2018, your workspace collections will retire. So if you are on an EA, you have until the end of that term to migrate. If you don't have an EA, you have to migrate prior to June 30th. After June 30th, anyone who tries to access the visuals embedded in your application will not be able to access them. So we want to make sure everyone understands that migrating is a necessity. There's you have to move over or your customers won't be able to access the visuals in your applications. So there's a misconception in the market that you have to migrate to Power BI Premium. This is simply not true. We did launch some ISV-focused embedding SKUs in Power BI Premium. However, Power BI Embedded is available for you, and that is what you, most of you should look to migrate to. We can answer questions in the booth after the session if you're not sure if the Power BI Premium embedded SKUs are right for you or if the Power BI embedded Azure SKUs are right for you. We're happy to have that conversation. So unlike the previous workspace collections model, the new model is not a session-based model. It is a capacity-based model and relies on the same backend as Power BI Premium. And so we're looking at a capacity-based model going forward. And it is going to be more expensive than the Workspace Collections product. Um, and when we get to q and I'll talk to you a little bit about the pricing and how that works. Um, and we can share details about that. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Dikla, who is going to take us through what great things her team has done in the product. Oh, I went one too far. In the product uh, since we launched in October. Dikla? Yes, hi. Can you hear me? Okay, thanks. So um, we're, talk we're going to talk a little bit about the workspace collection solution, which had several limitations. You could only embed reports, which made it a little bit hard to embed in data analytics into your application in a transparent and uh, integral way. In addition, the set of operation and APIs available for embedding, managing, and automating were quite limited. Another thing was that from data connectivity side, the support was mainly uh, through direct query for SQL Azure. And the pricing model was unpredictable since it was a session-based model. So now uh, we're going to go to the Power BI Embedded solution, which will be better in many ways to allow you to embed the data analytics into your app in a very seamless and integral way, and to allow you the, all the abilities to manage, automate, and deploy at scale. So let's see what we've got for you. We've got for you more embedding. You can embed reports, several visuals from a report, dashboard, tile, and q and I will soon show you a QA and a example. Uh, you can get more customization, you can custom layout, you can customize the menus, export data, use bookmarks, and more. There are more automation options for you to do with a dashboard, clone tile, update report content, and more. 
there are more data connectivity where you can connect to almost any data set and then use gateways, refresh, and stuff like that. And from the uh, more control, we have an Azure resource that allows you to have a predictive model pricing. You know how much you pay, and you can scale up and down, pause and resume as you like. So I will switch for a moment. to our playground for our Farm Behind Embedded Solution. This is a playground allow you to explore the, our, our Farm Behind Embedded capabilities over uh, samples, and you can all, all also use your reports and dashboards. So for example, here we can explore uh, how you can embed a Q&A and click sample. And when we run it, we can see an example for embedding a Q&A chart. You can see here that this is giving me an example for something that I can type and get the visual to display. This is stuff that you could not use in the works collection solution and now is available in our new Power BI embedded solution. Okay, so a few things did stay the same going from workspace collections to Power BI Embedded. So you can continue to embed all of the same stunning visuals that you can embed previously. And as Deekla mentioned, we've really expanded the types of things that you can embed. So that has not changed. We're still a service available through Azure, so that has not changed. Uh, and you're still doing all of your creation in Power BI Desktop. In terms of what is different now, as I mentioned, we have a capacity-based model. And that's going to allow you to pay per hour. So this is one of the big differences between the session-based model that is retiring and this new Power BI embedded model. So it's a per hour capacity. It's going to start at $1 per hour. So the entry level price point works out to be about $735 a month, just to scale that for you from dollars to monthly price. Um, we do require one Power BI Pro license to do master authentication with your application. We have on the roadmap the bring your own key and the app only token, but at this point we are using a pro license to do the master authentication. So that is a requirement. And that pro license is $10 a month, so not anything extravagant. Um, and we do have the converged API surface with Power BI now. And what that means is that almost every feature that rolls out into Power BI comes into Power BI embedded some, sometimes almost immediately, and sometimes it takes us about three months to get it into Power BI embedded. Um, there are a few edge cases where we don't roll out features because they don't make sense in the ISV scenario, but I would say 98% of the features that you see in Power BI are also available in Power BI embedded. So action items for those of you who have not started the migration process, please go to our docs page on Power BI and click on how to migrate to Power BI Embedded. Uh, we do have a migration tool that will help you to get started, but I want to be real with you that this is not a one-click migration. There's going to be work involved. We have a 10-step process. Oh, sorry, I'll go backwards so people can take photos. Go ahead, it's fine. He's got it, photos, all right, we're good. Um, I'll, I'll be available for photos after if you'd like any photos. Um, so a 10-step process for the migration. So this is what that documentation site will walk you through. So in addition to that, we have truly phenomenal resources here today to help you. So we have Ayal and Alone and Ran who are in the back of the theater right now. They can wave if you turn around. Ayal and Ran wave to everyone. So these are other folks from the engineering team who can help answer the deep technical questions uh, for you. So the hands-on embedding tool that Deekla showed you, this is available. If you open your copies of PowerSpy and you go to the last page, there is a short URL that will take you directly to this tool. This is going to show you all of the great features that we have rolled out without you having to do any coding, without you having to create any visuals. It will show you both in desktop and in mobile. So it's a really good way to understand 
how the new APIs work and get a feel for things before you start down the road to doing it on your own. So with that, uh, we are going to take questions and answers. I'm going to take questions about business model and pricing, and I'm going to make Dikla answer any of the hard questions about technical things. So, any questions? All right, more photos being taken. I can pose if you need me to. Okay, so June 30th, everyone is nodding. We all know June 30th now. No one is gonna escalate on July 1st when it's a Sunday. Geek will be at work, I won't be at work. <laughs> uh, so we're over at the booth, we'll be here. Please come by if you have any questions about anything. Uh, we obviously want to make this a successful process for you. Happy to help you do that. Please come to us and ask us any questions that you may have and let us know how we can help. Thank you.